we're going to see an example about hypothesis testing for two populations and checking the claim. In this example, we have the following scenario. I, I would like to uh, check to see what's the difference between average test scores in San Jose State University and, for example, Stanford University. What I'm going to do, I'm going to claim that I think there is a difference between average math test scores in San Jose State University and Stanford. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to design an exam and I'm going to have that exam be taken in these two population random samples. To select two random samples and have the groups take, take the math test. These are the information that you are having from these two groups, San Jose State University and Stanford. So the average test score for San Jose State University was 473 and for Stanford, was 459. I had eight students in the first exam in San Jose State University, and I had 18 students in the second uh, sample from Stanford. I calculated the standard deviation. I don't have information about the standard deviation of populations here. This is just a new test. This is what I designed, S1 is equal to 39.7 and S2 is equal to 24.5. So should I reject or support my claim? First of all, let us form the null and alternative hypothesis. Null and alternative hypothesis. Well, this is what I'm thinking. This is my claim. There is a difference. It means that they are not equal to each other. So the claim is mu1 is not the same as mu2. It's opposite. It's complement. They are the same thing. So it means that you have a two-tail test. Please pay attention here. We don't have populations of standard deviation. No sigma is given here. No sigma is given. It means that no z. We cannot use z here. So we need to switch to a different standardized test statistic, which is going to be your t. You have the difference between sample means minus the difference between population means divided by now we have the square root of, instead of sigma, we're going to use S, sample standard deviation, S1 squared over N1 plus S2 squared over N2. We're going to punch all of this information into our formula and calculate T. T is equal to, so on the numerator, I have 473 minus 459 minus the difference between population means going to be zero divided by square root of S1, which is 39.7 to the second divided by N1. I had eight students in San Jose State University, only eight agreed to take the test. Plus standard deviation from the second university, 24.5 to the second divided by the number of people, the number of students, 
18. So what is this T? Take a moment. Pause. Calculate T for me. Well, your calculation should show 0.9. Very good. So this is your T, right? Well, now that you have your T, you need to be able to find the P value. But how? You can use a calculator. Take a look. Let's turn on the calculator. I know my batteries are low. I'm going to go to stat. I'm going to go to tests. And since I don't have any sigma, I'm going to use T test with two sample. Two sample T test. I don't have the actual data. I have the information from my sample. So let me punch these numbers into our calculator. X1 bar is 473. And the standard deviation of the first sample is 39.7. N1, 8. N2, 8. Let us go to X2, X2 bar 459. Then we have S sub X2, which is 24.5. And then I have 18 students here. And see, you're going to select the very first option because there is a difference in the claim. And is it uh, pulled? It's not pulled because the differences of the, uh, the uh, variances are not the same. So we're going to do the calculation. Okay. I think my just just died. Okay. Let's see if it saved everything for us. Hopefully, so we don't have to enter everything. Oops. There's just a quick. Okay. Let's see. Very good. So it seems like our p value is about 30%, point three or 30%. So um, let us compare p value and alpha. Alpha is not given to us. So let us select alpha to be 5%. So obviously, 30% is more than 5%. Since p value is more than alpha, we're going to support the null hypothesis. Since we are supporting the null hypothesis, and here the alternative hypothesis is the actual claim, we're going to reject the claim. Right. 